Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. students welcome to the channel so today in this video we are going to discuss some questions with their brief explanation so moving on our first question schedule f to the drugs and cosmetics rules 1945 prescribes the and the options are option a requirement for the functioning and operation of a blood bank option b standards for surgical dressings option c list of drugs to be prescribed option d standard for disinfectant fluids so which schedule uh, schedule f to the drugs and cosmetics rules 1945 prescribe which is which so which is the correct answer the correct answer is requirement for the functioning and operation of a blood bank according to the schedule f so let's discuss in detail that schedule f is a requirement for operation of blood bank and or preparation of blood components where schedule f1 is provision for bacterial vaccine viral vaccine anti sera diagnostic antigens etc and F2 is standards for surgical dressings and F3 is for standard for umbilical tapes, one for blood, blood, blood bank or blood components and F1 is for bacterial vaccine and F2 is for surgical dressing, F3 is for umbilical tapes. So the correct answer is requirements for operation of blood banks and components. And double F schedule is for ophthalmic preparations, standards for ophthalmic preparations. So the correct answer is A. Moving on the next question. Which of the following carbohydrate does do not have any essential nutritional value? That which carbohydrate doesn't have essential nutritional value? So the options are. Option A, sucrose, option B, cellulose, option C, dextrin, and option D, glycogen. So, which carbohydrate does not have any essential nutrition value? The correct answer is dextrin. Dextrin is the carbohydrate which is not having essential nutritional value. So, let's discuss in explanation part. The dextrin are a group of low molecular weight carbohydrates produced by the hydrolysis of starch or glycogen dextrins are mixture of polymers of d glucose units linked by alpha 14 or alpha 16 glycosidic bonds so the function is dextrin is a source of energy and it contains 3.8 to 4.1 calories per gram Dextrin is not essential nutrient, so you you are so you do not do not need to get it from food to be healthy. So this is all about the dextrin. So the correct answer is C. That is dextrin. Moving on the next question. Mechanism of action of omeprazole is inhibition of options are. Option A, hydrogen potassium ATPase. Option B, sodium potassium ATPase. Option C, NaCl diffusion across the cell membrane. Option D, Na hydro, uh, sodium hydrogen diffusion across the cell membrane. So, which is the mechanism of omeprazole? So, the correct answer is hydrogen potassium. AT pays pump the mechanism of action of omeprazole is works on the hydrogen potassium AT pays pump so let's discuss with the help of a schematic diagram that omeprazole how act first of all there is a para about omeprazole 
that we have to understand omeprazole is a selective and irreversible proton pump inhibitor it suppresses stomach acid secretion by specific inhibition of hydrogen potassium atpase pump found at the secretory surface of the gastric parietal cells and the inhibitory effect of omeprazole occurs within a one hour after the oral administration omeprazole is a proton pump inhibitor so let's discuss with the help of diagram that it, it's a schematic diagram that how it is worked it is a lumen and it's a gastric parietal cell and it's a blood so there is a exchange of potassium hydrogen across the parietal cell and lumen so how it works that there is a chloride ion goes outside from the parietal cell and it also goes hydrogen also goes out from the parietal cell in exchange of potassium so what h plus scl makes that is scl in lumen so what the actually omeprazole does omeprazole inhibits the atpase that is hydrogen potassium atpase pump if it inhibits then there is no exchange of potassium and hydrogen takes place and there is no formation of scl takes place so this is the mechanism of omeprazole so it's all about the omeprazole mechanism moving on the next question carl fischer titration is a technique related to options are option a voltammetry option b potentiometric titration option c amperostatic colorimetry option d potentiostatic colorimetry so which is the technique related to the carl fischer titration the correct answer is amperostatic colorimetry is the uh, technique related to the carl fischer related carl uh, fischer titration so let's uh, discuss in explanation that carl fischer titration is a classic titration technique that use colometric titration or amperostatic colometry or volumetric titration for the determination of trace amount of water in sample students sometimes the question may also ask that uh, the use of carl fischer titration so we have to just uh, give the answer in that that it is help to in the determination of trace amount of water in the sample so the correct answer is c moving on the next question a 50 year old person suffering from renal failure underwent kidney transplant and he was prescribed a nucleotide derivative following the organ transplant so the nucleotide derivative of the therapeutic importance in this organ transplant is and the options are option a azathioprine option b 5 fluorouracil option c citarabine option d allopurinol so which is the nucleotide derivative having therapeutic importance in the organ transplant and the correct answer is azathioprine is the nucleotide derivative of therapeutic importance in the organ transplant so let's discuss in explanation part that immunosuppressants are used in organ organ transplantation to prevent the rejection most commonly used agents for these purpose are are glucocorticoids and azathioprine is a nucleotide derivative that can be used as an immunosuppressant and 5 fluorouracil and citarabine are also nucleotide derivative but there is a these are used for the treatments of cancers and uh, where allopurinol is used to decrease the production of uric acid it has no role in our renal transplantation just uh, it is also used in gout students it is used in gout just may memorize this that allopurinol is used as in gout so the correct answer is a that is as a theoprene moving on the next question 
choose the types of calcium oxalate crystals present in rhubarb and cinchona options are option p cluster that is uh, cluster crystals q acicular crystals or sandy crystals s single crystals and the options are option a that is p and r option b p that is p and s option c q and r option d p and q so which is the correct option the correct option is having the calcium oxalate crystal present in rhubarb and cinchona are p and r that is cl uh, cluster crystals and sandy crystals having these so moving on the explanation part that acicular crystals are observed in cassia curacao leaf and wasaka and cinnamon where cluster type having wild cherry bark wild cherry bark stromonium leaf flow belladonna senna leaf odophyllum rhubarb and sandy crystals are found in belladonna herb and cinchona so this is all about the crystals calcium oxalate crystals so the correct answer is a that is p and r so moving on the next question sub coating of tablet is used options are option a to protect from breaking to impart color option c moisture protection option d increase bulkiness and to rectify the corrugated surface so what is the purpose of sub coating in tablet and why sub coating of tablet is used so the correct answer is sub coating of tablet is used to increase bulkiness and rectify the corrugated surfaces so let's discuss in explanation part that first is uh, there is a uh, steps that is first that is first step is seal coating for moisture protection it protects from the moisture pro uh, moisture second is sub coating sub coating is done for bulkiness increase bulkiness and rectify the corrugated surfaces that is the answer which is the answer and where third step is syruping to impart color and fourth one is polishing to protect from breaking there are four steps in the coating first is seal coating second sub coating third is syruping and fourth is polishing so the correct answer is to increase bulkiness and rectifies the uh, improper surfaces of the tablet so the correct answer is d moving on the next question variation in magnetic field of magnet is due to and the options are option a rf amplifier option b frequency sweep option c hamol's coil option d rf receiver so which is the correct answer the correct answer is hamol's coil that variation in magnetic field of magnet is due to hamol's coil so let's discuss in explanation part that rf amplifier is used for amplification there is a mis uh, misspelling uh, mistake and that is uh, frequency sweep is used that it vary the field strength of applied magnetic field or called sweep generator or field sweep where hamol's coil cause variation in magnetic field which is the correct answer so rf receiver measures the intensity of unabsorbed radio frequency so the correct answer is hamol's coil that is option c which cause the variation in magnetic field moving on the next question the antibiotic which contains 15 membered nitrogen containing macrolide is and the options are option a azithromycin option b clarithromycin option c oleandro oleandomycin option d erythromycin so which antibiotics contains 15 membered nitrogen containing macrolide is and the correct answer is azithromycin is the antibiotic which contains 15 membered nitrogen uh, containing macrolide is azithromycin so let's discuss in explanation part 
that azithromycin is an antibiotic used for the treatment of number of bacterial infection and it contains 15 members nitrogen containing macrolide ring where or discussed in a further image that it's an 15 membered ring so it's a structure of azithromycin so the correct answer is a so moving on the next question is which of the following hormone is used to check pregnancy so the options are option a option a grf option c option b hcg option c acth and option d tsh so which is the following hormone is used to check hcg uh, which of the following hormone is used to check uh, pregnancy so the correct answer is hcg is the follow is the hormone which is used to check pregnancy so let's discuss about the scg that there are two types of pregnancy test one is one uses urine sample by using urine and the other is blood so both tests detect the presence of a hormone called human chronic gonadotropin this hormone is produced by the placenta shortly and after the embryo attaches to the uterine lining and builds up rapidly in your body in the first few days of pregnancy that's why we just used to detect uh, used to detect hcd and it is this rapid shift in hormones that triggers most of your pregnancy symptoms so hcg is used to detect the pregnancy test uh, in pregnancy uh, via we also two methods are one is urine sample by taking urine sample and another one is sample of blood so this is all about this video here we have a short uh, images of uh, to make you memorize about the that uh, which test is used for the detection of pregnancy that is scg hormone is used to detect pregnancy test so the correct option is scg that is b so it's all about this video thank you